Welcome to Mikon's hardware. For a while I had this idea to build a budget AI workstation using X99 or LJ2011 version 3 platform. And why X99? Well, because it's the cheapest way to get 40 PCI Express lanes to connect two RTX 3060 12 GB each with full PCI Express X16 bandwidth. I explored multiple different options, I thought about using Dell T5810 or HP Z440, I also almost bought myself a Dell T7910, which is a dual socket solution, so I could have three GPUs with all of them connected as PC Express X16. But then another YouTuber called the Digital Spacecraft released a very similar video building an AI workstation for just 750 US dollars and he used HP Z440 with the two RTX 3060. So basically exactly my idea and I have lost motivation. Additionally, after watching his video, I got a bit disappointed in the results. Two GPUs are not really working as I would expect it. So if you're interested in the extra details, please just watch his video. He has done a good job and I don't want to spoil it for you. Nevertheless, I have lost the motivation to build and test such a workstation, but I did not lose any motivation to test one RTX 3060, two of them, and finally three of them. So yeah, I have got myself not one, not two, but three RTX 3060s to test in AI workloads and see if adding an extra GPU will actually give you an extra boost. X99 is a good option to get lots of PC Express lanes, but that's not the only way to connect these GPUs with enough bandwidth. So I have an AMD AM4 workstation and I have got an MSI X570 Mag Unify motherboard. This motherboard supports PC Express 4.0 and even though we don't have enough lanes, we have the speed. PC Express 4.0 X8 equals the same speed as PC Express 3.0 X16. With this X570 motherboard, I can connect all three 3060s with enough bandwidth. The first two will be connected as PC Express 4.0 X8, and the last one is going to be connected as PC Express 4.0 X4. And this is plenty for all the workloads I'm going to test. Additionally, to verify how much we actually need the bandwidth for AI workloads, I decided to take one RTX 3060 and starve it to PC Express 1.1 x8. So this will significantly cut down bandwidth between the CPU and the GPU, and if that's important for AI workloads, the benchmark numbers shall tank down. A few words about my test configuration before I go into the test results. So the X570 motherboard hosted Ryzen 9 5900X and 64GB of DDR4 3600 memory. For SSDs I have got two, system drive is a SATA SSD 512GB, and then for the AI hosting I have got a crucial P3 NVMe SSD for terabytes. Please keep in mind that this testing is done under Windows with no additional or special tweaking. This is the experience you can get as a simple user, simple consumer that doesn't really know much about setting and tuning AI. All the tests were done using Windows 11 Pro operating system, Olama for LLMs and Pinocchio for image and video generation. For the benchmark numbers, I'm going to start with LLMs or large language models. Here I have tested Microsoft Pi 4, Meta Llama 3, DeepSeek R1 and Google Gamma 3. Starting with Pi 4, which is a rather small model which fits into a single RTX 3060 VRAM, we see that the performance is next to identical between all four tested configurations. Even the PC Express Starved RTX 3060 yields almost the same result as two RTX 3060 running at PC Express 4.0 x8. So PC Express bandwidth is only important when you actually load the model, but not when you run it. Meta Llama 3 has 70 billion parameters and this one is a rather large. So here we see some sort of a performance increase from two RTX 3060s, but the performance increase is negligible and it is still not worth it. 
set up with one RTX 3060 yields only 1.35 tokens per second and set up with two or three 3060s yields uh, almost two tokens per second. It's interesting to see that PC Express starved result is almost identical to the non-starved result and the results of two and three RTX 3060s is also identical. So there is another bottleneck where we need a stronger GPU, not more GPUs. Deepseeker 114B is also quite small and it does fit into a single RTX 3060 VRAM, so again, results are next to identical between all four tested configurations. PC Express 1.1 and PC Express 4.0 configuration doesn't really matter for RTX 3060 performance because it only impacts uh, the loading speed of the model, but not the performance once the model is already loaded. Deepseeker 132B requires more than 12 gigabytes of video memory, and here we can see that two RTX 3060s run the best. They yield about 12.3 tokens per second. With just one RTX 3060, CPU gets utilized and we get only 3.4, 3.5 tokens per second. Unfortunately, adding another RTX 3060, so we have three 3060s, decreases performance instead of increasing it. This configuration yielded only 8 tokens per second, and again we hit some sort of a bottleneck where we need a stronger GPU, not more GPUs. Deepseeker 170B requires even more video memory, and here I did not even bother to test a single GPU configuration, but two GPUs yield only 1.5 tokens per second, and three GPUs yield only 1.77 tokens per second. In both of the cases, most of the job is done by the CPU, that's why it's so slow. Google Gamma 3 does not fit into a single GPU video memory as well, and thus with just one GPU we have about 2.4 and 3.2 tokens per second depending on the GPU configuration. This is the only LLM result where I actually see performance degradation from PC Express 1.1 starvation. Two GPUs and three GPUs perform very close to each other, but this is also the only result where three GPUs performed better than two GPUs. Two 3060s yield about 12.5 tokens per second, and three of them yield about 14.5 tokens per second. So again, adding the third GPU doesn't really increase the performance by third, instead the performance increase is negligible, so yet again we need a stronger GPU, not more GPUs. A part of the LLMs I have also tested stable diffusion image generation, and here I use Cocktail Peanuts Automatic 1111 script for Pinocchio. PC Express 1.1 really hurts 3060's performance, and one 1080p image is generated in 200 seconds, which is more than 3 minutes, while with the proper PC Express 4.0 connectivity, we get one image in about 1 minute. Unfortunately, stable diffusion would crash with out-of-memory error if I connect the second or the third GPU, so I could not really test if two 3 GPUs would increase stable diffusion performance. I tried to figure out if there are some quick settings to get rid of this out-of-memory error, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything quick, or the automatic 1111 script simply doesn't support multi-GPU configurations. For video generation, I tested Pinocchio Factory WAN script for Pinocchio, and here I am using 1.2.1, generating a 480p video. Video generation takes about one hour, and unfortunately it was exactly the same for two or three GPUs. So the extra GPUs are simply not used at all. Some quick googling revealed that one can use multiple GPUs to generate a video, but again I did not find any settings or any configurations in the Pinocchio script to actually achieve that. That most likely would require to go and mess with the command line and start everything manually, and I did not have time for that. So, this was an interesting and rather disappointing experience. Even though AI and surrounding software is developing really fast, it's still not at the point where you can just take a solution from the shelf and use it. I have tested from a simple consumer's point of view, and there are a bunch of different options how you can download a simple package and start using AI for different kind of needs, such as questioning, chatting, image and video generation. 
But unfortunately, without additional tweaking, without additional settings, uh, these ready-made packages are not very multi-GPU friendly. So image generation crashed when I installed uh, the second or the third GPU, video generation simply did not use any more than one GPU, and most of the AI models that don't fit in 12 GB video buffer of a single RTX 3060 did not yield comfortable performance with two or three GPUs. So even though those large language models can utilize extra VRAM when needed, they are not going to utilize extra GPU's compute power if one GPU is able to host entire model. Also, RTX 3060 is not fast enough to be able to provide computational power for those large models that are being split among two or three 3060. All in all, I believe that RTX 3060 is a great beginner's card to start playing with AI and it can even produce some sort of a decent AI video. It is slow, but it is manageable slow. It's not like eternity slow. But if you're looking for some serious work, then you need something much stronger. I would say that RTX 3090 is the starting point. Of course, if you're an advanced user, you know how to use all those hidden parameters, you know how to make your packages and tweak configuration, you will figure out how to use two, three or four RTX 3060s in one setup. But in that case, you most likely will not bother with the 3060 and will go for something more appropriate. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.